Ladies and gentlemen, this is Monday. It is the busiest day, aside from Wednesday, that I have on any given week. Um, this is definitely the longest Monday in a while because we had to take care of the service of process upon the Attorney General and the Federal Reserve Board and the Federal Reserve Board of Governors and blah, blah, blah. So that went out today and they are receiving it via flash drive and all of that wonderful stuff. And so it is a sit back and wait thing. So that's your update on that. Now, the mega program, we said it will be tomorrow night at 12 a.m. It is now up on SACOM, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who have been waiting for it. The mega program, there are two pricings. The first one, now they both come with the exact same package. The other one comes with the completed sections. Your UCCs, your filing of your EINs for the package so that you have your corporation to operate through. That is a nonprofit religious organization. Now, some of you have an issue with religion, and I, look, you know me. I am the number one person that will tell you how much I hate religion. But a nonprofit religious organization has nothing to do with a service of a god. Okay, that's paganism. We're not talking about that type of religion. We're not talking about man made religion. We're talking about your beliefs. Do you believe that individuals should be treated fairly? Do you believe that you have a right to access the securities in your account? Religion is based on your belief. You get to define what your beliefs are. No one else gets to do that. It has nothing to do with your belief in a God. See, whether or not you believe in a God doesn't matter. Because, for instance, the air doesn't need you to believe in it in order for it to exist. Okay, the cement, once you jump off of a building, doesn't need for you to believe in it to prove that eventually y'all going to meet each other. You follow me? So the fact that you may already have EIN numbers and so forth, that doesn't matter. With the mega business pack, pay attention, that package, you get that automatically. So if you already have an EIN number, you're going to add it to the list. Now, hold on. You will not receive the packages immediately. Our staff is going to complete everything for you you're going to provide them the information they're going to fill it in they're going to send you your trust the only thing you have to do is get it signed and notarized there are two things you will not be allowed to do well three things you will not be allowed to alter the trust parameters now you can add things that's up to you i in my opinion you add things you'll take away from the strength of the instrument but that is up to you but what you cannot do is change the grantor of the megatrust or the grantor of the microtrust. Those two are etched in stone. You cannot alter the financial instruments. They are at $100 million each. You cannot change that. The arbitration amount you can change. Let me say it again. The arbitration clause, the amount mentioned in the arbitration clause, you can change. You can change the arbitrator. That is your choice. You can change the arbitration agreement. That is your choice. You cannot change the trust protector, TTOPP. The trust protector is there for your protection and the protection of your trust. You cannot change the trust protector. Just trust me on that. You don't want to change that. TTOPP and the Eon Foundation. The Eon Foundation is the grantor of the trust. When you purchase the trust, you're given the Eon Foundation permission to produce the trust, to give you the trust. So you can't change that. You need that being the grantor. You want to be the beneficiary and the trustee of the micro trust. You want to be in control of your properties. Now, hold on. There is a fiduciary known as the United States. Remember, 
the New Deal and those other adhesion contracts, all of those contracts that they say that you're under, you know, you must obey this, you must obey that, you must do this, you must do that. Those contracts where they say you must comply, well, they're in possession of that. They're in control of your securities. They put a, what, hold on. Um, let's go here and let's show it to you so that you can see it for yourself. Under the new law, the money is issued to the banks in return for government obligations, bills of exchange, draft notes, trade acceptances, and baker's acceptances. The money will be worth 100 cents on a dollar because it is backed by the credit of the nation. The people are the credit of the nation, people. The nation doesn't have credit. The credit comes from the people. It represents a mortgage on all of your homes and other property of all of the people in the United States. Now, I want y'all to pay attention so that y'all understand what they mean by other property of all the people in the United States. What other property? You're thinking cars and fixtures and all of that. No, let me show you what other property. Negro Mart. Yeah, Walmart. That was the original Walmart. Negro Mart. 900 Negroes want it. 200 Negroes want it. Slaves for sale because they were deemed property. Just Negroes for sale, 1800s. There it is right there. Plain as day. That's property, ladies and gentlemen. Long cotton and rice Negroes. Okay? So since people are treated as property, let's go back and read what Congress was really saying. The money will be worth 100 cents on a dollar because it is backed by the credit of the nation. It will represent a mortgage on all, not some, all the homes and other property of all the people in the nation. They put a mortgage on you. So since they did that, you don't have control of all of your property, so you can be the parties in the agreement that are listed. But so that you don't have to deal with people coming to you and arguing, we went ahead and took care of the grantor of the trust and the grantor of the micro trust. The mega trust is the grantor of the micro trust and the Eon Foundation is the grantor of the mega trust. That way you don't have to worry about them claiming that you are in possession and that circular ownership thing. You don't have to worry about that. We took care of that for you. I assure you, we put this through rigorous testing to make sure there were no vulnerabilities. Why? For your protection. So, the mega program is up and running. Let's go over the website so that you can see what's been done different. This is the mega page. Home, the mega pack program. All you got to do is click on it. We go home. TikTok. Now, what's happened before, if you've been to the site before and you don't see this up here, Mega Pack Program, that means you're going to have to click on About Us or, um, let's see, Our Current Programs. You can click on either of those and you should see that pop up. That means your cache needs to be cleared. Well, anyway, you can go to, oh, you know what? I forgot I didn't do the link. <laughs> So you got to click on this link. I, I, hey, I was busy yesterday, but I'll take care of that link uh, a little bit later today. Well, let's do it now. Let's show you how simple it is. All right. We are right there with the pricing. We'll talk about the pricing in a moment. Let's get back to, we got to go here. And we are going to go there. And we're going to go home. Take me home. And... Give it a second. It, it, it needs to catch up to what I'm doing. Sometimes I just move just a little too fast for it. And come on now. I just need my number two to come up. And it ain't showing up. There we go. Linky. Linky, linky. Okay. And now we're going to do pages. So we're going to do this page right here. And we're going to insert that link. See how simple that was? And then we're going to hit that button. Now, by the time it finishes, yeah, we're going to save it. By the time it finishes, my message, yes, 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 then we'll be able to upload it. Now, we got more to talk about. I need y'all to hold on a second because I got to do one more thing. We got to start this bad boy right here. 
And the reason why we got to start this bad boy, because that's how we load it up to the Internet so that you guys are all on the same page. You see what I'm saying? All right. Now, let's go back here so that you guys will see what we're doing. As you see, the Megatrust program can be found here. Do we do the here thing and the link? We're going to do it for both. Sorry. I apologize for that. Undo that. Stop. 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 Don't do it. No. All right. I'm tired. Hold on, people. Be right back. Okay. I apologize for rushing earlier. It's been a long weekend, and I did say to you guys that I wanted it up by the 1st of July. We've been working on this since September of last year. That's when I first announced that I would be doing that for you guys. At first, we weren't going to do any more trust, but this trust is designed, once you get it complete, you're going to attach your birth certificate. I got my birth certificate authenticated. It doesn't matter if you got it authenticated or not. That's not the point. You're going to attach your birth certificate. It already says that you're the owner of the certificate of live birth. It already has that information in the document. You're going to provide us that document. We're going to incorporate the information into the document. Okay? You're going to send us a photo. It will be digital. You will send us a photo, a headshot, so that we can add it to the instrument. Once we send it back to you, you will get it notarized. Chapter 11 bankruptcy is your friend, people, especially since Chapter 11 bankruptcy is a probate proceeding. They probate estates in bankruptcy court. You guys should know this by now. So you're going to probate the estate. The only way to gain control of the securities held in your minor account, since these idiots are blocking access to this through normal means, is for you to bankrupt the estate. How do you bankrupt your own estate? By taking control of it. Now there is no more fiduciaries. Now there are no more custodians. You become the custodian of your own account. You get to handle your own affairs because you become the debtor in possession. Now why is this document so important? Because, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you walk into that bankruptcy court, you're no longer a minor. You're the debtor in possession. As the debtor in possession, ladies and gentlemen, a minor cannot be a debtor in possession. You need to understand this. A minor cannot be a debtor in possession. Chapter 11 bankruptcy is your friend. So, because you walk into the bankruptcy court, you're no longer a minor. You're now in control of all of your securities. You're the debtor in possession. You also want to come in as a creditor. Now remember, you're the debtor in possession in Chapter 11, but you're going to come in as a natural person, your natural capacity as a creditor. And you're going to demand control of your estate. You guys have time to do your research. It will take two weeks per pack for us to work on each one of your packs. You just need to understand that. You don't have to do any work. In the past, many of you, and we're doing this for you, that's why we told you we had to work things out to where we can put this together for you. In the past, people, we still have people contacting us regarding the QPAC, a program that ended almost three years ago, that they still haven't done anything. We have all of you with your tax credits. Look, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who received those credits, do yourself a favor. Stop worrying about them being tax credits you want to add them to your taxes really then get yourself an EIN sole proprietorship number and file a 3800 that's it and document your tax the credits on the 3800 that's it you don't have to do anything else that's your sole proprietorship you'll get all the benefits as a sole proprietorship if you get an EIN for the sole proprietorship then you would for an individual tax filing. We've been trying to tell you all this. Nobody listens. Everybody's scared. What are you scared of? There was nothing illegal about you documenting your credits. We've already showed you IRS Tax Topic 453. 
IRS code IRC 166. It's all right there. They haven't hidden this from you. Back to the mega pack, ladies and gentlemen. There are two things that are going on in the background. As soon as I can get it to pop up. This will finish in a minute. I need, and it just finished the index, and that's what I was looking for. I don't care about any of these because we needed the index to be finished. Oh, no, we need the mega. We need the mega page to be finished. So this is uploading right now as we speak. See, DAP, D-A-P. Okay. We got our OC. This is our current programs, OCP. And then we got our PDS. Where's the PDS? Come on, give me my link from my, oh, OEP. I don't know what OEP stands for. You down with OEP? Yeah, y'all know me. There's the PDF one. So that's all of our documents that are up on our website. It's uploading everything all over again. All right, we'll take care of that in a minute. Let's go to this page so that you guys can see what's going on with this. Both links work now. Well, in a minute, they'll be working. The Debt Acknowledgement Program, all of those links are still there. And then we have the section that was there before, but it ain't there no more. Um, let me, let me go. No, no, that is the section. We have two sections. So we have that one that explains that. And now we're going to go to this page right here, the mega pack page here. You get a brief understanding of the trust, what the trust does, how it is to protect you here. You get a little bit more of an understanding of what happens with the beneficiaries and how the trust works and how the mega trust and the micro trust work in co he shouldn't with one another. Now we have the pricing tables. A trust is a legal organization. Most people don't know that a trust is already a corporation. You don't realize it. A trust is a legal organization. It is three people in one. It's a company. That's why you'll receive an EIN number for your trust. You'll receive an EIN number for your sole proprietorship. But I already have all of that. Doesn't matter. You buy the, pay attention, you buy the business package, you get those EINs no, no matter whether you have one or not. You'll just add it, the previous ones you have and these as property of the trust. You're going to be given an opportunity to provide a list of everything, every possible property you've ever owned, could have owned, and that should have been yours. You're going to add it all as trust property on a Schedule A and B. Pay attention. A trust is an organization composed of at least three entities, a grantor, a beneficiary, and a trustee. This trust, the mega trust, pay attention, the mega trust, it also gives you a trust protector and a fiduciary, totaling five entities for the protection of the trust, most certainly a corporation. There is a grantor's trust, a constructive trust, an equitable trust, a financial trust, an investment trust, and so many more types of trust combined to give you the most beneficial elements. Okay? We took out most of the vulnerabilities, and we did this for the protection of the trust and the beneficiary. Why don't we do something to hurt you? That's what ChatGPT does. That's why we did the video. You have to be careful of ChatGPT when you're doing things. ChatGPT will take and twist things and turn things all around. Do not use ChatGPT to verify pertinent information, things that you're going to have to rely on. Do not do that because it will not benefit you. ChatGPT, for things like that, is a piece of junk. You hear all the times I have to correct it. And I told the company I would start speaking against their piece of junk because it's designed to mislead you. Can you create something like this with ChatGPT? No, because it will do all the twists and turns and you'll be sitting there for days. It's not designed for this. Look, it's a language model, but they programmed it so it doesn't work for you. They programmed it so it's fed in all of that disinformation junk to send you on your merry little way. But we'll talk about that in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the standard pack. This doesn't come with the EIN numbers. You just get the pack. Ladies and gentlemen, we will introduce and put all the information in the same as we would do for this pack right here. If you were to get this done by an attorney, I guarantee you two uh, trust in one 
with all of the protections that the trust provides and that they are sitting up there operating a position, of course they would charge you. If you just want them to give you a template, they'll throw you a template. So this is not going to be just some template. The templates are done. We've got the staff already prepared to take care of things. They've been going through some training for the last couple of months. This pack, this trust is equipped with financial instruments, as we talked about, uh, bond, promissory note, and a bill of exchange, international bill of exchange. Power of attorney, this affirming all contracts made while in infancy. It is coupled with an interest. Do yourselves a favor. Look at coupled with an interest. Bradley Christopher Stark brought that to my attention. Oh, on a side note, ladies and gentlemen, in the um, subpoena sent to the Attorney General, Bradley Christopher Stark is one of the interrogatories that I bring up because they had an agreement with him and it was an arbitration clause. I have not forgotten about Mr. Bradley Christopher Stark. If it wasn't for Bradley Christopher Stark, a lot of this, a lot of the information here would not be placed here. So I give Bradley his credit. All right, let's do this again. Ladies and gentlemen, the beneficiary who may also be the trustee and the grantor because of the fiduciary happening to be in control of the properties associated with the minor estate. This particular package does not come with an estate EIN, a nonprofit religious tax exempt organization registration, nor does it include the UCC filings. You can do that on your own. We will take care of everything else regarding the trust for this particular package. This is a standard and basic package. If you already have those items listed above, then you should stick with this particular package. However, if you don't have those items and don't know how to do it, pay attention. That's what we're here for. That's why it's included. This is the mega business pack or the MBP. Ladies and gentlemen, one-time payment. Now, here's the problem. I need you guys to understand something. I had to go back. Somebody tried to make a purchase while we were just uploading everything, and I had to go back and change it because it said monthly payment. We definitely don't want nobody paying no $2,200 a month. That makes no sense. But we had to put a price to where it was reasonable. There's no way in the world anybody could repay me for the last nine months of working on this. If you cannot hear the amount of stress in my voice over the last couple of videos, it's all been because of this, trying to get this done for you all. I wasn't doing this for myself. I wasn't doing this for the members of the organization. The organization, the members of the organization, they don't even get their packs. They get their packs automatically, but they don't even get it for another two weeks. You guys come first, okay? You all come first. Now, this is the one that does include the EIN number. Now, hold on. I do want to let you know that I do have a trust. I do have a nonprofit religious organization. I do have a bank account in that nonprofit religious organization name. You guys will get all of these papers all at the same time. You'll receive some instructions. You, we can't tell you everything you should do. We can't do that. The law doesn't allow it. But we will give you information in the meantime, in the interim, for you to do research prior to receiving your completed packet. Okay? Again, we talk about the things you can't change. You cannot change the dollar amount on any of the instruments with the exception of the arbitration clause. You can change the arbitration clause. You can change the arbitrator. But you cannot change the grantor of the mega or the micro pack. The grantors have to remain who they are for the sake of this. If you change any of the aforementioned information that we said you cannot change, that invalidates this package. Now, remember, I want you all to pay attention. Nobody else has done anything like this. That's why I do the videos, so I can show that I'm the inventor of this. So when you want to go out and recreate this, there is a clause in this pack that you cannot change. And it automatically says that if you do attempt to alter these things, then you invalidate the pack. So just trust me when I say just leave those things be. You don't need to change it. We're not trying to take control over anything that you have. Those of you who've known me, you've seen. 
we've had people thinking that they could accuse us of trying to gain control of their stuff and take control of their get me back by and what for why why would i'm sorry don't take it the wrong way why would i want your junk look why would i want your junk you come to this channel because you're going through something somebody is trying to take what's yours why would i take what's yours why would i even attempt to why would I let anybody in the organization do that? You guys seen how I treat people in the organization when they try to take advantage of you? SACOM, I want you all to pay attention. SACOM, for the last two years, well, actually going on three years, hasn't done, well, no, 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 two years, sorry, because we did do the, the Prime and the Omega Pack. But other than the Prime and the Omega Pack, SACOM hasn't done any business with anybody. SACOM hasn't been trying to make money off of anyone. Purposely. We, because we're not that type of organization. We're not here to make money off of you. Like I said, you couldn't possibly pay me back for the last nine months of my life. Trying to put this together. Trying to make sure this was succinct. And even after I thought I had it, Lord have mercy that I add a couple of more things to it. When you finally get the pack, you'll see how extensive it is. It's over 50 pages long. It has so many clauses. Now, some of the clauses repeat. Some of the clauses, not a lot, but some of the clauses repeat. Why? Because they bring out a different nuance at a different section. So there was nobody misconstruing the intent. And we did take the trust and put it through a couple of AI models to make sure it was clear and understandable and not full of ambiguities. Because that's what they like to say. Yeah, it's just too ambiguous. Okay, so we made sure of that, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, got some other things to tell you. When you click on the select section, you're going to be taken to this page. It is not the same payment page that you received before. I decided to use a different payment page, same company, different payment page. And you'll be asked to give your information and put your phone number in. You will be asked to leave your phone number. This is so that we can contact you if need be. Okay? Send my info for one-click checkout with link. That's if you want the link selection. If you don't want link, you can do it without link. Okay? But it does accept all of these payment features. You can use all of these. You're no longer limited. There is also Afterpay that is available. Now, I don't know how Afterpay works. You guys will have to get into that with them. I don't know how Afterpay. I will ask them about it. Um, if you're not, now, if you don't know what Afterpay is, Afterpay allows you to pay in monthly increments. And so I will check on the Afterpay thing so that you guys will know. All right, but there is your checking me outs for this particular pack, and the other one does the exact same thing. But we know that all of you cannot afford, you heard what I said, a one-time payment, and so there's Afterpay. Afterpay will only be available, I just have to say it, it will only be available for this one, the standard pack. Afterpay will not be available for the business pack. Why is that? There are two reasons. One, when you order these packages, it could take up to 14 days for your payment to clear. Ladies and gentlemen, that's too much work for our staff to go through for me to get them started on your packet and sending out information and you're sending it directly back to us immediately for them to get started. They will already have gotten started on your paperwork. And so let's just say eventually the payment doesn't go through. Then that's work that they did that needs to be accounted for. So we cannot offer the monthly payment option for each of the packages, at least not for the time being. I still have to finish talking with the staff. We talked this evening, but this wasn't one of our main points. It's not the funds, ladies and gentlemen, but they do need to be given something for their time and so that's what i definitely have to focus on 
Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I see something in my front yard that I have to go tend to that shouldn't be in my front yard, and it has got my attention. I don't know what it is, but it's uh, something else. <laughs> and so I got to go take a look at what that is. Um, it's a front yard thing. If you've ever had one, you know what I'm talking about. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there is also something that I do have to clear up. This continues to let you know about the different features of the pack. It's quite a bit of information, so I would suggest you read that before you purchase anything. This has some frequently asked questions about the pack. And then it gives you some basic information. Can I change the arbitrator? So it's that type of information that's right there. Please note that we will be updating you on this page periodically. So come back and visit us now, you hear? And then it tells us, hey, you can get in contact with us. You'll receive a response between 24 and 72 hours. Weekends are excluded. And what you'll do is you'll put your name, the name of your estate, your email address, your phone number, and what is the issue you want to talk about? Just briefly. And someone will reach out to you by email. You will not be able to dial that SACOM number. Nobody, we don't have the staff to man the SACOM number. That number is still good, still works. But we don't have the staff. I was going to man it, but I don't have the time or the energy. Sorry, people. Okay, just really that simple. But the website is up. The links are up. And the program has begun. So thank you all for your patience. And I'm going to leave you to your being. I wish I could stay here and explain more, but I think that I've explained quite a bit. Now, hold on now. I just want to make sure you all understand. All you got to do is click on this button. You can start your own program. But that means you'll have to do your research, and that's where you start your research. You can't just write a trust just to be writing a trust. It doesn't work that way. All these little templates that you guys are downloading offline, that's not how a trust works. So my suggestion, do your research. Until then, hey, like I said, this is about gaining control of the securities held in your minor account. Everybody talks about getting out of the system. Don't you understand you can't get out of the system until you gain control of the securities held in your minor account? Let me say it so that y'all can hear it. Lord have mercy. If you don't gain control of the securities held in your minor account, the debtor in possession is the best way to gain control. Can you think of another? Then gain control of the securities held in your minor account. That's what the mega trust is all about. That's what it was created for. That is its main focus. So that's why it's called the mega trust. And that's why I say it's our most extensive and most solidified package yet thank you all for your time thank you for your attention and hey everyone have a safe and good night